It's actually the first movie I've seen from Hollywood where the characters in it are wearing masks. And the funny thing is, this movie doesn't even take place in 2020 or 2021 or 2022. It's 1918. Yet these Hollywood cocksuckers for the past three years want to shove it down our throat that we have to wear our masks. Yet, in their own damn movies, they think they're too pretty or too good to wear masks and to show that that's the reality, the fucking hell that they've been putting us through. And I'm sick of it. You ain't all funky fresh. Do do a fucking review, bitch. People are starting to expect to see you now. What is this? Uh, what? A review? Um, it's more like a fucking drama than a horror movie. It's not like a Lifetime movie. <laughs> It was good though. Good acting. I like the color, the uh, brightness. Every movie's fucking dark now, but that one wasn't, so that was cool. Alrighty. I give it a three pitchforks out of five. <laughs> That's a good one. Three pitchforks, because there's there's pitchforks in the movie. That wasn't a sick burnout. Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and I'm riding solo. Actually, that's not true. I got the secretary sitting over out of frame. She didn't feel like you people looking at her uh, right now. But anyway, uh, I'm tired. It's a weeknight. I got to work tomorrow, so we're doing the review in the car again. But Chad, as you can see, is a little bitch. So he went home for the evening. Uh, and we just watched Pearl. Am I on the right side? Is it? A, yeah, I'll put it right here. See it? You see the poster? Pearl, which is the prequel to X by Ty West. You might remember my review from like five months ago. That's all the, all the longer ago. X came out was five months ago. And that's a movie about a bunch of people making an adult film. They rent this property from these old people. And Pearl is about the old person when they were young. And it's got the same person that played, what's her name? And Maxine. Her name was Maxine in X? Yes. See, I wasn't paying attention last night when I was watching X. I had to show it to the secretary because she hadn't seen it. And I also may have shown it to my mother, which, hey, look, <laughs> let there be light. Pearl follows Pearl, you know, from her, at a young age, I guess in her early 20s, she's married, but she still lives at home, and she takes care of her father, and, you know, deals with her overbearing mother, and I'll be honest with you, this was, like, not what I expected, like, at all what I expected, uh... I hate to say it, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed overall. I was expecting this to be like, a, I mean, it, it, it had some decent kills in it, but I was thinking that this was going to be more than just the year of 1918 in Pearl's life and show how she, I guess, started to become a psychotic. Because the bitch is psychotic, and there is one scene where she does an it's just like a monologue and it's incredible but like I don't know I guess most of the movie's supposed to get you to feel how she feels being trapped on that farm with this overbearing mother and you know she has to constantly clean up her father because I, they, they don't really say what happened I think she might be responsible for what happened to her father they don't really say it, what it happened kinda to her it kind of sounded to me like when the mother was talking like the father had got the uh, the flu 
the Spanish flu. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, this whole movie coincided with. Am I allowed to say that on on YouTube? No, it out. Yeah, it, it coincided with the pandemic that we just experienced in the past two years. And there, uh, when she went to the theater, she had to wear a mask. And they just kept talking about how it doesn't matter. I'm not going to spoil the movie. I just feel like this wasn't on par with X, even though I expected this to be better than X when I saw the end credit scene after seeing X. Um, I enjoyed it. From watching, I mean, I enjoyed it, but I wanted it to be more than what it was. From watching X just last night. I feel like we never got off the farm, and that's how Pearl felt. We just never got off the farm, which I don't want that to be a spoiler. But it's I not. thought that it was going to be, you know, she gets off, you know, she gets out there. She goes out and gets discovered dancing, and then, you know, the competition gets more fierce. Well, the thing and then is she starts pitching. Picking off bitches one by one, but that is not what happened. No, in it's X, more of a. Uh, she flat out explained to Maxine and X that she wanted to be a dancer, but she was never able to be a dancer because she was married, and that's the other thing. Her husband was nowhere to be found. Not to be a spoiler. God damn it! Here we go. I'm gonna put light spoilers in the. Well, I mean, it's 1918. <laughs> it's during the war. Her husband was in the war, so duh. He's not going to be there. She's by herself with her pa with her parents. But I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, Pearl was very... Um... If I had to grade it, because, you know, I don't, I don't know what else to say without spoiling it and going into depth. And I still want to do my barbarian thing, so... And I'm, I'm going to try to get, like, a, a better production value than this poor lighting... And, you know, have my work cooler in the background. Anyway, that's all beside the point. I'm giving it a B minus. I, I think I would give it an A minus. I'm giving it a Just B minus. because the color palette was This amazing. isn't your channel. Go make your own channel. It's called The Secretary. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's all the time I got for you. It's past my bedtime. I got to go home. Take my... uh. My nighttime gummies so that I can go to sleep and get up and suffer through a day of work tomorrow. And then I'm hoping, I am hoping, because, you know, with my back being messed up, I'm not going to be working at the haunted house this year, everybody. So I'm going to stay home and I'm going to try to get some reviews out. I want to do an in-depth spoiler review for Barbarian and an in-depth spoiler review for Pearl. So please... If you've liked this content, let me know by clicking the like button. You can leave a comment if you feel like, but make sure, more importantly, that you are subscribed if you're new here. I uh, do videos at random. You never know what it's going to be, whether it's a movie review. It's mostly movie reviews, but sometimes I like to rant about things. And uh, have I even been looking at the camera this whole time? Don't worry about it. I don't know what I'm doing, all right? And I haven't done it in a while. I, I don't know anything anymore fuck out of my truck.